How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The reading is from the second epistle of St. Peter. Brethren, be more diligent to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never stumble. So there will be richly supplied to you the entrance into the ki kingdom eternal of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Therefore, I will not be negligent to put you now always in remembrance of these things, though you know them and are established in the present truth. And I think it is right, as long as I am in this tabernacle, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that putting off of my tabernacle comes swiftly, even as our Lord Jesus Christ showed me. And I will also give diligence that after my departure you may be able at any time to call these things to remembrance. For when we did, did, for when we did not follow cunningly devised myths, when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when they came such a voice to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, the Beloved, in him who I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we ourselves heard, when we were with him in the holy mountain. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, in which you will do well if you take heed as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until the day breaks and the morning star dawns forth into your heart. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up high into a mountain apart. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garments became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elias, talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is well that we are here, if you wish I will make three booths here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elias. He was still speaking when, lo, a bright light clouded over them and shadowed over them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were filled with awe. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. And as they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Tell no one this vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. Ooh. 